include your favorite ginger bibliophile and a little tranny booty over here going, shut up, it's nap time, mama. So, you know, every now and then I do a little, hey, life's hard, but you got this kind of, you know, cheerleader feel good video. Ooh, and we've got a nice thunderstorm now. Is that just a me thing, or do y'all kind of enjoy a good thunderstorm, too? So I want to do a kind of a video in that vein. I'm Kat, your favorite ginger bibliophile. And if you're just here for the books, I got those down below. Or if you're just here for the animals, like the little man that just came to visit down here. The little man. Those are also going to be linked in the description box down below. But we all know we, you know, I love books because otherwise I wouldn't be on booktube telling you about those but today I want to do some of the like small victory other things that make me happy that aren't necessarily bookish like I've got this awesome skull mug full of one of my favorite teas here which I have a whole huge tea collection so if y'all want to try it but this is the orange and spice by Bigelow I freaking love this one. And of course, they quit carrying it. So I had to go on Amazon and buy six boxes of it. Because <laughs> it was either that or pay like $18 for two boxes. But I usually get it for three bucks at the store. Yeah, come here, little man. And y'all know. Oh, yeah, you go sit out. You don't want to sit on mama's hip. Oh, cut. Because books and puppies, those are kind of like my favorite things. But. One of the small things I enjoy is all my nice cups of tea. Of course, I love, you know, sweet tea, or as I grew up calling it, sun tea, because we'd get a pitcher full of water, one of those big old gallon things, put some uh, tea bags in it, and set outside in the hot sun to boil it and get it nice and dark. But I'm not really supposed to have caffeine anymore, so I love the fruity herbal teas. And I found this one, Strawberry and Vanilla by, I don't know if you can see that. It's Taylor's. I got some British tea. Taylor's of Harrogate since 1886 in North Yorkshire. <laughs> I was, you know, doing the whole monthly date thing. And we always, you know, we have certain stores that we always go to when we go into town. And one of them was like, eh, it was Halloween season, so I had to check, like, all of Ross and Home Goods and whatever. And I saw strawberry, so I had to friggin' try it. It is so good. Because I basically, I have two brands that I really usually get. It's the Bigelow and Celestial, which I have some that I actually drink the British way with milk in it. But I couldn't dig that up because I have a whole huge tea collection. So let me know if y'all want more than just my mains. And we can do a whole tea thing. And then I found this one. And of course now they're back to, you can't get it at the store. And they won't even sell it to me on Amazon unless I want to buy a whole, get a you know, bunch of them. Like, I don't like that one. I don't like that one. I have a ton of that one. And I'm not paying that much for only two of these. But this one. The blackberry and citrus. I squeeze a little extra lemon into it. And it is one of my favorites. It's very summery and springy. It's all bright and fruity. Especially with the extra half a lemon in it. And technically it's spring. But yeah. It's gray. It's rainy. Possibly thunderstormy. I was wearing a hoodie earlier. Because it got cold. Because it's gray and rainy. Like this week we literally have gone to from... A couple degrees above freezing to it's 80s and I'm going to die. And one of my other favorites that I recently found, lemon ginger. Hey, it's me with some lemon, <laughs> which is one of my favorite things to put in drinks. So those are some of my favorite teas that I really enjoy. It's the orange spice that I'm drinking now. And as y'all know, I love Halloween. So I don't know, I don't think y'all can really tell too well, but there's a skeleton in there with some little glowy eyes when he's plugged in. Got the spider webs. This thing is creepy and awesome and glittery. And well, the tag fell off, but this is a uh, Black Cherry Merlot, the wallflower from Bath and Body Works, because 
every now and then I'm girly and I love my Halloween, but I love smelling nice and sweet. And it's so fruity and good. Like uh, the Halloween smell I really wanted was that ghoul friend, but they mostly only had that in lotion. Or not, I don't think they even had lotion. They had like candles and hand sanitizer. I can't have candles. Somebody will burn the house down. But I freaking love that one. It smells so good. So next time it's on sale, do yourselves a favor and go get that one. So good. You're half like. I've got the little scented things I tried to make my own. And I was trying to get them, maybe try to sell them, make a little money on the side, pay some meals. That, that's way better. Like, just a little bit of that. Even, like, I had some uh, Better Home and Gardens. Like, I think it was their black iris and something. that Oh, it smells so good. That will make my whole house smell in about 10 minutes. I've been using that every day for over a month. And it's gone through, like, that much of it. And something else y'all might have noticed from, you know, I like to do my little shorts now and then is wild animals and all the pretty flowers. And I'm so excited. I have a whole bunch to show y'all that uh, I have learned the hard way. These lie. It will not be this color. It will not be this height. It might not come up at all. But I have a whole pile of possibilities. Like, the boyfriend loves sunflowers. So he got three packets of these. I like the really dark ones. <laughs> Though that's not the dark ones I had before. Like I think we got that one and I got about two seeds or like little flowers out of it. Most didn't come up. I, I blame Pearl the squirrel. She was digging them on up. Yes. Did your little enemy Pearl get into some stuff? Or was it maybe the cute little goldfinches? Because I thought I was going to collect some seeds. They had other ideas. Apparently my sunflowers and my marigolds <laughs> are their favorite. They sit right on the flower and just steal my seeds and spit out the shells. And they're lucky they're cuter. They would not get away with that. No, they wouldn't. Kind of like you wouldn't get away with some things if you wasn't so cute and cuddly. Uh-huh. But... <laughs> And then my dark little heart just loves this. I'm not a huge fan of basil, but dude, it's dark and purple. And it has flowers. Unfortunately, it's not as pretty as that says it is. Like that color kind of fades, but it does start off pretty good. And these suckers spread. Some stuff is starting to pop up in my planters. And I was kind of waiting to see like, all right, what's going to come back and what should I fill in? Like, and also last year, like, I planted one little set on this side of my porch. I had a whole field over here of about 12 plants. And they get big around. <laughs> so that was awesome. And then I also got the cinnamon one because, I like, I know you're supposed to pick the leaves and use it. But I just like all the pretty flowers that come on with it. And, dude, I've never seen that before. Eskimo marigolds. They look like little white puffball hydrangeas. That is so freaking cool. And marigolds are one of the few things that I can usually reliably plant and they grow. It, it depends. Like, they always say they're going to be like a foot tall the first year I planted them. They were literally like, I, I kind of want to take a picture going, this is what it, how high they are. But the way I, the perspective was, I'm like, I look like I'm doing something from 1940s Germany so no but yeah they were like over four feet tall and then next year they were normal like four feet but those are so pretty and I'd never seen them and then I got these in two different ones because they're zinnias another thing that usually goes well for me but you see how they're supposedly striped and that one they're kind of I call them blood splatter. <laughs> Again, they make my little dark heart happy. There's a rose that looks like this that I saw at the local Lowe's and I wanted so bad. But it's $30 and I'm not very good at growing things. So I'd probably kill it. I'm hoping everybody else goes, oh, that's creepy. And it goes on clearance and I can snatch it. 
because it smelled really good and it looked blood splattery and that is the coolest freaking thing ever. So hopefully these will come up and I will be showing them to you with all the butterflies and the hummingbirds and whatnot. And bachelor buttons. The Okay, the lighting on this is kind of weird, but we got normal blue. And apparently they come in like a rainbow of colors. We got, actually this one doesn't even show the blue one. We got bright pink and pale pink and white and purple. And ooh, that looks like a, almost like burgundy blackish red. I hope I get that one. Because these, I planted these, I'd never seen them before until last year. And this is what's popped up in garden two, because I have two gardens. And he's supposed to make me a third one this year to go with all his stuff on my porch. And a couple of these reseeded themselves. And I got one blue one that already bloomed. And it's so pretty. And I love it. And hollyhock. I've been trying to plant these for years, though I had a different kind. I had black ones, because who doesn't need a black flower? The first year, it grew about three feet tall and had leaves bigger than my hands, but no flowers. And supposedly they're biennial and self-seeding, so it should have come back up and had gorgeous big old black flowers standing at the back of my garden, just as like, here's a backdrop for all your colorful flowers. It never came up again, but this says it blooms every year and also gets you know five to six feet tall with big old flowers so i am really really excited to see if these come up they're like carnation looking but safe for doggies there's a lot of I'm like that is gorgeous if my pups nibble it it's bad for them so i can't have it and again we got some more marigolds because these are the more standard Dwarf Bolero. These look a lot like the French ones that we got the one time. They're that two-toned orange and like burnt orange. And some pretty Cosmos. Because I've had really good luck with those. I got some that said they were all kinds of colors, but they were really just orange. So hopefully these come out because that's pretty cool with their white but the dark center. I love that. Hopefully y'all will enjoy it because it will come up. And I can show you pictures of my pretty garden. And then we've got some nasturiums that, that my first year, two years, I had really good luck with these. I got different ones. Like I thought I had gotten the India red ones that are just red with really dark leaves and they were the jewel toned ones. And then the next year I got a couple, like they showed up really, like, oh, I planted them here. They got big and bushy and reseeded and took over half of the garden and it was beautiful. And then it was kind of an anemic one where they kind of self-seeded. I sprinkled in some more. A couple came up, and I haven't had luck since, but we're trying again because those are just so pretty. And I got some more sunflowers to go in the back of the garden there. These are some leftovers from last year. And I don't know if y'all have ever heard of Elysium before. We've got the all white, we've got the dark purple, and some multicolored. They're just very, very tidy. Or th According to this, they're only supposed to get like two inches tall. They got like six inches tall and just self-seeded. So I was like, ooh, if they could withstand dogs, that's perfect. Just plant them in like in between everything. Because they're just these little pinhead flowers, but they make a little thing. The bloom with all of them is about like thumb size because it's just a little cluster. And if you go and sniff them, it smells like honey, which is so amazing. I love sweet smelling flowers. Like pansies are not good for the puppies, but petunias and violas are okay. But only the purple ones of the petunias seem to have smell. I don't know why. When I go to the lows, maybe it's just it's a different strain. Because I've seen where I could buy the plants and like they have options at Lowe's. is only the purple ones, but they smell so good. So I freaking love it. And now I have those that smell like honey. And my some of my lilies. But those don't bloom for very long. And the bunnies keep trying to eat them. So hopefully I will be able to show you all some of those. And you'll get some pretty flowers. And the animals that love them. And that will brighten your day. Hopefully this has made you happy or you're just like, oh my God, she's crazy. Shut up already. 
But yeah, those are my little small wins, things that I enjoy on a regular basis or I'm looking forward to getting to enjoy and share with y'all and my little man. So what are some of your favorite things that you enjoy on a good day to get through when things maybe aren't the best? Just like, all right, here's my small one for the day. I got this coffee or, hey, this bloom, this kitty came to love on me. What makes y'all happy? Drop a line, let me know, and I will see you soon. We'll see. Bye, bye. Wait, Momo, you touched my paw. That's rude. That's like kissing me. So, bye. Happy reading.